Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. If you just truly love this interior, the mad. We're in the Mojave Desert, looking for some way to not be killed by a giant rat scorpion. I think the most effective way of doing that is by not walking too far from the settlement. Maybe. I hope. We're still doing the tutorial, and I think something in the background just glitched a bit. That's okay. I think. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, sure. Oh, got them to absolutely forgot about to see about hair color. That's close enough, I guess. It's a bit darker than my hair actually is. Alright then. Following the road should be fine, right? Right. Maybe I should stealth up like a big coward. A big cowardly coward person. Who would stealth up while walking straight in the middle of a road. Yeah, sneaking on a road without anything covering me doesn't really sound like it would do much. What are you? You're a broken crate. So you can't get anything from you. Busted. Alright, I guess the campfire is right here, somewhere. Mr. Toriel, where are you? Nearby, apparently. I would probably have been able to quick travel there because there is a marker that does advise for me to do this. Hi. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. So it doesn't have any requirements? Atomic cocktail? Seriously? God damn. Cloud kiss? What are these things? We can't take ahead. What do you need to this stupid time? White horse nettle and survival skill. If I did that, I could probably actually make money from that. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Okay. I'll go say hi. Can I just do this then? Is there benefit to doing this instead of... Ooh, this is a large map, isn't it? What's that? Northern Passage. That's Abandoned Brotherhood of Steel Bunker. Why are these places around? Mojave Drive-In. Canyon Rickage. And there's probably nothing between here and there, so no. Yes. Hello again. Good settlement. Hi, Pete. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Why are you called Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. Oh. So what's wrong with the NCR? Don't get me wrong. 
The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. Tell me about the Legion. They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. Do you know anything about the people who attacked me? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. You were a prospector, like digging for gold and silver? Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. Did you ever find anything good while prospecting? Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river, but got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. What's so important about Hoover Dam? The dam powers a lot of New Vegas, and then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. What do you use the big harness for? Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. Can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. Do you know anything about Victor? The machine? Harmless, no matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something, but I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Alright, see ya. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. I've got this for that. See? This. It's nifty. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? This is. Yeah, you better run. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. I overheard your argument, but what's that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock, so we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where is he now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. What are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers? Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Right. Alright, let's talk about something else. Alright. 
I'm trying to track down the people who attacked me. Know anything about them? Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Did my attacker say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. So where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Hmm. Do you know the robot that rescued me? I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. You don't like him? It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. What does he actually do around here? Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. How long has he been in Good Springs? It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Okay, let's talk about something else. Fine by me. Uh, does Good Springs get many visitors? Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. What happens if I help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Hmm. Who was that man you were arguing with? He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. Hmm. Was it to take a look at your broken radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Anything interesting going on in the rest of the wasteland? There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust-up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Hmm. Why do you think the NCR are both... I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. Alright, tell me about the NCR. The New California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. What can you tell me about the Legion? Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. Hmm. Be careful out there. Yeah, that's your radio. This thing? Yeah, sure. That's good. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. I fixed the radio. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. Thanks for the caps. You're welcome. So can I get you anything? Not yet. See ya. Be careful out there. This is the exit. Hmm. <laughs> Fearing. No? Garbage.
No? But it's not hearing either then. It's not it's nothing with the, the in-game thing. Returns? No. Oh well. Service? Yes! Excellent. I was kinda worried about this one. What luck did I just disengage? Who knows? Did you go to level? Alright, uh What do we want with this? Let's go with that. That and that and then a point in sneak and guns? Sure. Hmm. <laughs> well these are interesting options. Let's go swift learner for now. Wait. <laughs> there are some pretty interesting perks out here. Most of them may take a while to get. Okay. Swift learner will do is what we do for now. Because it's the beginning and we need these sort of things at the very start, I think. Oh wait, was this what we were thinking of? It's pretty cool. A plasma pistol? Sure. Evening. Hi. What am I now? I am now a renegade. Spiffy. From a drifted to a renegade in 10 seconds flat. Right on then, let's go to the gas station, see if we can get the Ringo some help. He seems to be in need of some. So it won't hurt. I think. Yo. Yo. That's close enough. Who are you and what do you want with me? I'm just having a look around, but I'm not an enemy if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of Caravan? You know how to play? And what are the rules of Caravan? It's a two-player game, and the winner takes the whole pie. You build a Caravan using the cards in your deck. The goal is to create Caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids. So there's more strategy than luck involved. It's why you won't see Caravan in any casino. Too slow-paced. And more importantly, no house edge. Here, take this holotape. It goes into more specifics about the rules. You'll also need a deck, so take one of my spares. So, you feel like playing a game? Let's play. Don't worry. I'm not that good of a player. I played it before, but I don't remember. Alright, auto match. Yeah. Um. I don't know how to do this stuff. Random is coming deck? How strong cards do you need? Wait. Um. Do I need this score to be high? I don't know. Let's give it a try. How do I choose a card? Oops. How do I move it? How do 
Okay. Wait. I can't so. How do I that's so? Alright. How do I play it? Cancel. Yes. I don't know what I'm doing. Goodbye. So, um, thanks for watching. I'll see you uh, next time. I'll read the rules of the current game in between the rounds. Bye. Sorry, sir, but I need to include. Oh, <gasps> no. Yes!